uh, I thought water was coming out here. I wanted to. So, family, another way you can make money in Africa, another way you can make money is buying lands and start your construction, building constructions. It's really, really profitable. Like, take a look at these designs of, of houses. You can even just um, buy a house or I can even advise you to just get a, a property, start the construction of your house. And then one, once it is done, you give it for rent. All right. You rent it out and you are going to make a lot of profit. You are going to make a lot of money by doing this. All right. There are so many opportunities. Like I always tell you all, there is so many opportunities here in the motherland. And I've always told you that the reason why your brothers and sisters here in the motherland in Africa are living the motherland is because most of them don't yet have the finance to start. So all these houses that you just saw right now, this is the handwork of your brothers that are coming to America. This is what they do. And I always tell you all that when they come to the U.S., all the money that they are working there in the U.S., they don't spend it in the United States. They send it back home for all these houses to be built for them. And they are not building their houses so that they can stay inside. No, they are building it for business purposes. They build it like this and then they offer it out for rentage. And it is a very, very good business investment. Apart from investing in agriculture, like we talked about in our last video, and now we are talking about real estate, transportation also is a very good means of investing in Africa. One of the transportation means you can invest in africa if you want to invest in africa transportation is a very good investment this is one of the means you can invest you can buy a bike and give it to what is called here in africa balance and take you are going to buy this bike now for maybe around a thousand dollars and then give it to someone serious person for the person to be riding so you're going to buy this bike for a thousand dollars and give it to someone on a contract known as balance and take here in the motherland which the person on an agreement between you and the person the person is, is going to take the bike and within the time period of six to seven months the person must have balanced you your money that you bought the bike and your profit which means if you bought the bike for a thousand dollars within the period of six seven months the person is supposed to balance you one thousand eight hundred dollars and yes i know the capital is really small compared to how much you can be making there in the diaspora within a week and not to talk of a month and a period of six months you know it can be pretty small but you are not coming if you want to come and invest in the bike business you, you don't just only want to come and buy one bike you know if i'm talking about investing in this bike business i'm talking about investing about 15 to twenty thousand dollars in this business that is you buy you know a good numbers of bikes open up a little enterprise you can even get a land and build your little enterprise which is which is going to be something like your office and then you know start running the bike business with that you are going to see a lot of money and secondly businesses here in the motherland if you are making money if you make two thousand dollars here in the motherland and you make two thousand dollars there in the diaspora there is a big difference all right two thousand dollars here in the motherland is going to remain two thousand dollars why two thousand dollars there in the u.s you are going to pay bills you are going to pay some taxes and stuff and i'm not saying that they don't pay taxes here in africa but compared to 
the, the same two thousand dollar, the same amount that you're, that you're going to make in Africa, you're going to realize more money in your hands, all right? And so, apart from this bike business, because this is the smallest kind of transportation in Africa, we have this bike transportation, we have um, taxi, what you might call the, the in the diaspora cap, we have um, agency, bus agency. I mean, there, there is a lot of um, different kinds of transportation that you can invest in. I'm just using this as an example because this is the smallest kind of transportation in which it is good for you to invest. You know, with time, it's, it's going to be and turn into a much bigger, uh, uh, you know, investment. So what I will tell you is, if you want to invest in transportation, Africa is top notch. If you want to invest in real estate, Africa is top notch. If you want to invest in agriculture, Africa is top notch. So there is still more opportunities, you know, a lot of opportunities because Africa, like I'm always saying, it is still, there is still a lot of problems that need solution. So if you come and solve solutions in Africa, then you are sure going to it is sure going to be a good investment that is it you know so this is what i said let me bring to you all um today please if you're just coming new to the channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell and i'm going to be seeing you all on my next video and have a nice day mm -hmm.